So this is the first kind of decent weather day of 2020. We're at the end of February. We are at the closest national park site to our house. Gateway National Recreation Area, Sandy Hook. Been here a lot of times, a lot of memories. We're gonna show you around. Thanks for joining us. So Sandy Hook is exactly that. It's a, a sand peninsula that uh, just juts out in the ocean from pretty much North Jersey directly into New York City. And once you get out here, it's just filled with all kinds of history and many incredible activities. Got me. My left shoe is soaked. <laughs> I didn't see that one coming. So definitely one of the premier activities here at Sandy Hook is swimming in the ocean. And what's nice is right behind me here, you have one of the bathhouses. There's five of these up along the Atlantic coast here at Sandy Hook. Very nice in the summertime. Obviously this close to New York City, very crowded as well. One thing that definitely makes Sandy Hook very unique are all the coastal defense sites. If you're into military history, this is a place you definitely want to visit. Because of its proximity to New York City on this big sandy peninsula throughout the years, the early wars, the Cold War, all kinds of military installations. You got old, big concrete batteries, and then up to the modern nuclear sites that house both the Nike and the Hercules missiles. Check these out. We spent a lot of time here with our family, our three girls, we would take them to this beach and they would look for sea glass and pick up shells and climb on all the rocks. And then Shane came along and we have one memorable time of him scraping his knee and dad needing to go back for the car and pick us up on the street there. But lots of good memories here. Lots of time together as a family and fun places to explore. So as Julie said, we used to bring the kids here when they were young and they'd look for little buoys that washed up on the shore from lobster pots, fishing traps, things like that. Shells, rocks, but one of our biggest fascinations, remember this, was sea glass. Now, these actually don't qualify, they're still too sharp. But the glass goes in the ocean, people throw their garbage in the ocean, unfortunately, and then when it comes out, it's nice and soft and nice and smooth. This is actually somewhat rare, kind of an aqua color. This would be pretty impressive, a blue. You really want something special, you look for the reds and the oranges. But again, a lot more great memories of hunting for sea glass from all of our years living here on the Jersey Shore. Another amazing thing that you can do here at Sandy Hook are the bike paths that go all throughout the whole park. Look at this, a variety of tools if the bike breaks down on you. And a little spot right here to air up. Ride around and see some great sights and get some exercise.
So if you want some more unique history, let's take you back to the American Revolution, 1783. Over there in Sandy Hook Bay, British ship is docked, bunch of guys desert. They come over to the salty marshes over here. 13 British sailors leave the ship and look for them. They get caught in a blizzard. All 13 of those men never return to the ship. They die and they're buried, they believe, somewhere over there in that makeshift memorial. So these guys are really cool. These are all the batteries that are stationed here at Sandy Hook. And if you come here during the weekends, oftentimes they do guided tours through them. But these are famous for the so-called disappearing guns. The guns would elevate, they'd shoot, and then they'd drop back down into the battery. This is Battery Potter right here. So the guns would fire out toward the New York Harbor, Atlantic Ocean on that side. But this was kind of the back door. And of course, you had to keep that guarded as well. Let's walk up a little closer and take a look. Look at all this artillery right here. Oh man, I can barely even kick this thing. I can't even get it off the ground, it's so heavy. It's amazing, the firepower that these guns had. This thing was erected back in the late 1800s and they'd fire these things out into the ocean a couple miles. That's incredible, these guys are even bigger over here. Woo. Sign says he would fire a projectile 10 miles out into the ocean. Here we are at the Sandy Hook Lighthouse. It is the oldest operating lighthouse in the United States. Constructed in 1764 under General George Washington at the time, and it has guided ships through the New York Harbor ever since. So what better way to end our day than a beautiful sunset here at Sandy Hook. sun went down. We lost about 20 degrees, then we it got cold. But after a great day with my great wife here at Sandy Hook, New Jersey, we are signing off. Thanks so much for watching this video all the way to the end. If you haven't done so yet, please go ahead, hit that red subscribe button. You can join us on all of our trips. And as we like to say, there's always room for you on every national park adventure. Have a great day.